Everybody, welcome back to their brand new video. Today we've got a new release. There's actually two releases today. We've got the brand new 2021 Topps Chrome Update Sapphire. And there's also 2022 Topps Inception. Now, my case of Inception is delayed, so I'm not expecting it until tomorrow. So I'll have that video for you tomorrow along with a live case break. In fact, tomorrow looks like a quadruple upload day with uh, the Inception release preview video, the Inception case break, throwback Thursday of 2014 update, looking for bets and DeGrom rookie cards and an auction. So an absolute ton of stuff tomorrow. Make sure you hit that notification bell, click it to all so you don't miss anything on that very, very busy day. Also April Fool's Day on Friday, so we'll be switching over and doing some football cards from 1984. I'm looking for Dan Marino and John Elway rookie cards. Saturday showdown's coming up. We'll have Inception cases up for grabs there, so a whole lots of great stuff coming up. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Let's go ahead and get into this. It's 2021 Topps Chrome Sapphire. You might think, wait a minute. Um, it's 2022. It's like Pretty much April right now. Yeah, they're a little bit but a little bit behind, I guess you could say. The regular Topps Chrome Sapphire came out way back in, uh, I believe it was around November or December. So they're a, a bit behind with this, with 2022 products already on the shelves. In fact, you can still find the unsapphired version, the regular Topps Chrome update on the shelves at Target pretty easily. Uh, they're $50 a box there. These boxes from Topps, before all the fees and... Um, the tax and shipping are added in. They were one fifty a box. They're selling on eBay right now for anywhere between two fifteen and about two fifty. So that's not too bad for a Sapphire product right now. Uh, so it might be one that if you're kind of an investor, this might be one of those Sapphire boxes you grab for around. Uh, it's probably going to cost you like two thirty after tax and shipping off eBay. But grab that and toss it on the shelf, and hopefully one of these good rookies from twenty twenty one takes off. So there's going to be. Uh, I believe it's uh, is it one autograph per box. It says look for autographs. There's 32 total cards per box. Here's the odds on the back. You can see that hopefully we can find, it'd be nice to find a super fractor. Um, but we'll see what we can find in here. Rookie autograph, one in every 10 packs. So that's a pretty good chance of finding auto. I think it's about one per box. So let's go ahead and bring in our sponsors for this video. If you'd like to be in our breaks, check us out on Patreon. It's $4.99 a month there. And you have access to all of our breaks. I just listed the Football Friday video, the April Fool's Day video, opening that baseball card exchange authenticated sealed box on Friday. That just went up on Patreon. The way Patreon works there is I post a listing that says, um, coming up on Friday, I'll be breaking this. If you're interested, please leave your PayPal, and I'll send you an invoice. So I send you an invoice through PayPal, and then you pay it, and then your name gets on one of these cards right here. We also have a channel membership as well. If you'd like to join that, you get members-only auction time and free cards whenever you win an auction during that time. Uh, the link is in the description for that as well. So let's go ahead and get started here. Daniel's up first. Good luck to you, Daniel. There's, I believe, 330 cards in the update set, and they chromed and sapphired them all up. So they'll look very, very nice for us. And I'm hoping we can find some nice parallels in here. Right now, let's see what we've got. So there's nothing else in there. Here's our packs. There's eight total packs here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You can see that uh, they've got some of the prospects and rookies on there. you got Akil Badu and Alec Bohm and Jared Kelnick and Andrew Vaughn and also the stars of Shoyotani and Francisco Lindor gets his face put on the pack as well. All righty, let's see what we've got. We have leading things off. There's Travis Shaw. We've got Antonio Santos rookie card right there. Yermin Mercedes, that's not a bad one right there. You mean Mercedes rookie card and JB Buskowskis is the last one for Daniel. Looks like we might have, oh, uh, yep, indeed, there is some color for you. It's a Wade Davis. Now, hopefully, we can find a rookie, but it's an old R not. We'll take it to green, probably out of 99. Let's see. It's out of actually 50, 9 of 50. Not too bad. Nick Gordon rookie card. And Williams Astudio is the last wrong one from the Twins. Twins playing the Pirates today up. Uh, I think they're up pretty big on us. Speaking of up pretty big, last time I checked, I was kind of following along with some spring training games, getting in the uh, swing of things. And in the eighth inning, the Cardinals were up like 21 to something on the Washington Nationals. Holy cow. Animal Sanchez got hit around. Kid Cavalli got hit around pretty bad. Both give up double digit and runs. That would be an interesting game to uh, watch if you're going after baseball. There's probably a ton of home runs flying in the stands. We've got uh, Bo Bichette right there. And there's Evan White, rookie card. And Frankie Montas is the last one. Still no autograph yet for Daniel. Maybe we'll find one in this pack. 
or maybe not. We've got Nick Nelson, rookie, Chris Owings, Ryan Weathers, and also Tony Watson. So if you're wondering who the best players are in Chrome Sapphire update, it's going to be basically the same as Topps update. We're looking for Jared Kelnick, Andrew Vaughn, Akil Badu. They got him on the box for you. And here we go. Here's our autograph. It looks like it's going to be a Daniel Lynch. Let's flip it over and show it to you. Daniel Lynch is the auto. Rookie auto of Daniel Lynch. And it is not numbered. So autograph number one is in the books. Cole Tucker on the back for some reason. I guess he didn't make the regular set. Sometimes they do that. They need to fill out a 330-card set. So certain players that may not have made Series 1 or Series 2 will end up in the update set. There's Joey Bart. Rookie card, which is not too bad. It's his rookie debut. And here's the last pack for Daniel. Let's see if we can get some last pack magic. We got one parallel, one autograph, and, um, you know, a couple decent rookies there with your mean Mercedes and also Joey Bart. Of course, Mercedes is going to be starting the season injured. All right, next up, we've got Milvet USA at spot number two. Let's see what we can find for you here. Good luck. Garen is in the on-deck circle. And I think since there's so few packs in these, I'm probably just going to rip them all at once here for the subsequent boxes. By the way, once again, if you'd like to see that information there, it looks like green's going to be our most easy-to-find parallel. It's out of 13. The green was out of 50. So you might find maybe one parallel per box on average in this product. Still a nice product. I was looking forward to doing Inception today. We'll save that for tomorrow. Inception's another very nice product. It's only one pack per box, but you're guaranteed an autograph, and the cards are always really nice. So I'm looking forward to checking out that design. Since my case was delayed today, I actually went to the local card store and said, hey, you guys have any Inception? I'm looking to buy a few boxes. Hoping to do a preview video on it for you guys still. But uh, they said, yeah, we've got them, but uh, the owner hasn't come back with the price yet, so we can't put them out. So I was like, all right, I might as well just wait for my case tomorrow. All right, Milvet, let's see what we can find for you. There's your upside down card. We can already tell that's going to be your autograph. There's Taylor Trammell. That's a good one. Any of these rookies, you always want to probably sleeve them up, put them aside, take care of them. Taylor Trammell was always a big prospect coming up through the Reds organization. Now he's over there in Seattle. All right, Milvet, look at this. A wow, Jared Kelnick. How about that one? You cannot pretty much get a better one than this. Jared Kelnick autograph. And is it numbered? Let's see here. Jared Kelnick. It's not numbered, but that's that's pretty friggin' awesome. Jonathan India as well in this. How could we forget that? Awesome stuff right there. Jonathan India as well. We've got Matt Shoemaker. Man, what does that go for? Now, Kelnick had a bit of a down season last year. He actually got called up and then got sent down to uh, the minor leagues here. And I just got a phone call from... Um, somebody there, hopefully it doesn't, uh, ruin my video. That would really suck, right? The Jared Kelnick, the screws up the audio or whatever. So fingers crossed it doesn't. There's Tarek Skubal, really good box so far. Skubal's a good one. That Jared Kelnick is a beauty. So congratulations on that one. He's on the cover of the box. You also have Logan Allen green out of, we'll get that one sleeved up as well. It's, you know, since it's a parallel, man, these Sapphire cards are so nice looking. So far, Milvet, you got the best box with the Jonathan India rookie card. You got the Jared Kelnick. I wonder what that goes for. Jared Kelnick Auto from Sapphire is going to probably fetch a pretty penny. I'm not sure if we have any comps on it yet as this just came out today. There might not be too many similar pulls already listed on eBay. Garen's up next at spot number three. Let's see what we can find for you in your box. Go ahead and get this ripped open and nothing else hanging on in there. So here we go. There is Adam Frazier on the back. Josh Van Meter there as well on the back. We've got a, an auction tomorrow on Thursday. I think it's going to be my card tomorrow. I do have a big consignment, but I think it's too big to fit in for just one Thursday evening. I'm going to probably start tomorrow's auction around like 8.15 to 8.30 or so. I'm going to be using uh, probably some of my cards. I've got that Maximo Acosta um, Orange out of 25 First Shimmer Auto, which is a huge hit. I'll be auctioning that one off tomorrow and some others. 
There's Albert Pujols, but the big one I'm doing is going to be the Thomas T collection. He's got a whole bunch of vintage cards. I might save that for Sunday. I'll probably do a little preview video so you can see all the goodness in there. And there's Dylan Carlson batting leadoff today for the Cardinals. He's having a good spring hitting 368 at the current moment. That's a great card. Jonathan Loisega. That one's going to be out of 50. You can see the back. So the green, you get about one green per box. They're one every 13 packs, so it's not guaranteed, but it's typical. Andrew Vaughn as well. Not a bad box so far. Your mean Mercedes is also in there. There's the autograph coming up soon. I can see it flipped upside down right there. We haven't seen Akil Badu yet. Hopefully we see that one soon. Oh, well, here it comes. Autograph time. It is going to be Jose Devers from the Marlins. Jose Devers is the autograph. Let's give you a look at this. This is a beauty. These cards are so nice. Love the Sapphire releases. There's Joey Bart, rookie debut. We'll sleeve that one up as well with the others. And last one there is Billy Hamilton. So, Garen, thank you very much. So far, at least, you know, with these Sapphire boxes, you're guaranteed an autograph. And it's uh, kind of an investment. You never know who's going to be the next big rookie. Here's spot number four. This one's for Jason Kurtz. Let's see if I picked you out a winner here, Jason. I haven't seen any Shohei Otani yet, despite him being on the box. All right, here we go. With spot number four. Box number four of six. There is a limit of three boxes per account. Um, I got these as a 582 Montgomery Club member, luckily. I've got an account, Heather's got an account, so I can double the uh, the request there with, uh, you know, two different addresses, two different people and all that goodness. All right, Jason, let's see what we can find for you in yours. And they also had enough left over, by the way. These went on the public sale the following day. Uh, my buddy Jeff Becker sent me a message said, hey, these are for sale if you want to get some more. But I declined. I figured that ah, six is probably enough, right? And I think it is enough. I mean... Hey, Jared Kelnick, I don't think we can get too much better than that in terms of uh, the rookies. And we have an orange in here, so our first orange parallel, which is going to be pretty nice. Let's see what it is. It's going to be a Trevor May. Trevor May, that's uh, that's a pretty nice one right there. That orange, you know, Mets team color, orange and blue out of 25. That's a good hit. Jake Crenoworth, rookie card, rookie debut is another nice one. We'll take that one. And now I'm just interested to see who your uh, who your big auto is going to be. You got Shane McClanahan, who's really I like Shane McClanahan a lot. I think that's a name you need to keep in mind. Ryan Mountcastle as well. Mounty, put him on the board. Get him all sleeved up. Another great card here. And here comes the hit. It's from the A's. James Caprillion. Autograph is our next autograph. So I think all of our autographs so far have been of the rookie auto kind. James Caprillion, which is fine. That's usually what happens in most products, it seems like. Unless you're going super high end, most of the autos that you do pull out of um, most products are typically going to be your rookie autos. Tyler Stevenson, a nice one right there as well. So box number four is in the books. Thank you, Jason. Let's move on now to box number five. We only have two boxes left in this video. Here we go for Jeffrey. Best of luck to you. Let's see what we can find for you here. We had two videos yesterday. I don't know if you checked out the other one. I picked up a, uh, a case of 2022 Heritage Fat Packs. And I was like, hmm, I haven't seen these in any stores. And I looked on YouTube. No one else had put any videos up. So if you want to check out the Fat Packs, I don't know what the price is on that yet. I'm hoping those Fat Packs are, it'd be nice if they're $5 again. But I, I think those $5 Fat Pack days are... Unfortunately, a thing of the past. Reading the comments uh, from my last Fat Pack video, where I did 2022 tops, it seems like some places are selling around seven to eight dollars. I think Walgreens is seven ninety nine for those now. Some people even said they were nine ninety nine, but Ring Up is seven ninety nine. So the era of eight dollar Fat Packs is here, and that's uh, I don't know. I don't really like that. Obviously, who wants to pay more? It's not like they're giving you extra cards or anything like that, or, or better odds of finding stuff as with the increased print runs. Personally, I'm, uh, I think I'm more of a, a hanger box guy than anything else. If I'm going to go retail, if I just had to grab something just to rip open, I feel like hanger box, you get the most value. Blaster boxes are cool too, although uh, if you're not a fan of manufactured relics, you might want to avoid those, but that's okay. Here comes our hit early. It's at the beginning. It is going to be a Nate Pearson autograph. So Nate Pearson is the auto. Nice little photo variation on all these autos. Not the same picture that you would see on the base card. That's not too bad. So I don't know how he's going to kind of 
mature and blossom in his major league career because of all the injuries that Nate Pearson has had. But you never know who's going to be the next big breakout guy. It's Chris Rodriguez, Kyle Isbell. A lot of Royals fans are always talking about him. And uh, we've got something coming up here. It's going to be another orange card. Oh, it's White Sox. It's going to be a rookie. Please be Andrew Vaughn. Yes, Andrew Vaughn. That's a nice one. 25 of 25. So, Jeffrey, congratulations on this beauty. That is a gorgeous card. Andrew Vaughn, one of the top rookies in this class. And you just hit his orange sapphire. That's going to be worth some money for sure. Hoping for big things from Andrew Vaughn this coming year. I'll be keeping an eye on his stats. It'll be interesting to see which one of these rookies from 2021 breaks away to become the consensus number one guy. Because really, there isn't somebody that really kind of stands out. In 2020, you had Luis Robert. Everyone was you know, pretty much on board with him being the number one guy. Everyone went all crazy, you know, getting his cards graded and everything. Same thing with Kyle Lewis. Kyle Lewis, though, kind of cooled off a bit, has injury concerns. 2021, though, we don't know who the number one guy is. I mean, some people will say Joe Adele. Some people might say Andrew Vaughn. Some people might say Jared Kelnick. Some of these, just no one's really stepped forward. They kind of all had their ups and downs. Akil Badu is one that people might say would be the number one guy. Although he wasn't like a major, major superstar in the minors. It'll be interesting. I think if I had to bet money, I would say Joe Adele long term. I know Joe Adele hasn't done much in his stints in the in the uh, majors so far. But I just got a feeling about him. Hopefully I'm right. We'll see. By the way, this is our last box. Let's bring Jeremy's name in here. Good luck to Jeremy in spot number six. The final box of this video all right, here we go. Are you ready, Jeremy? Let's see what we can do for you in spot number six. Throwback Thursday tomorrow, breaking 2014 jumbo. of. Actually, I got two of them. I might do two jumbos of 2014 update. Hoping that we can find DeGrom and Betts. The parallels would be absolutely awesome to find. I'm hoping that there's still plenty of gold cards. I mean, there's a ton of gold cards in 2012, so... I think 2015, it was one in every two packs. So I'm expecting to find a good bit of gold cards. It'd be crazy to find those guys in a gold. So tune in for that. And let's finish off the final box. Jay McClanahan and Ryan Mountcastle lead this one off. That's a pretty good start for Jeremy. Two of the good rookie cards. You also have an orange coming up out of 25. Let's see who he is. It's going to be a Jen Lowry out of 25. Not the biggest name, but still it's out of 25. So that's cool. Tyler Stevenson once again. Christian Pache now over there in Oakland. And we'll see who our autograph. The autograph is coming up. I can see it. So every box does have an auto. There's Jared Kelnick. Had his autograph earlier. Nice big hit. Probably the hit of the video. Andrew Vaughn also right there contending. And Brady Singer is going to be the autograph. Brady Singer. Okay, I guess not too bad. Brady Singer has some, you know, possible potential. It's still on Floreal, and we're going to end this preview video with a Patrick Weigel. So, Jeremy, thank you very much, and that is it. That's the 2021 Topps Crown State Sapphire. You may have seen those pop up on eBay. You may have been interested to see what they're all about. Not too bad. You might be able to price this sometimes drop also, by the way. Uh, usually when the stuff first comes out, there's a lot of demand for it. So these, you might be able to find these for around $200 a box if you wait a week or two. I don't know. Uh, so we'll see. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that thumbs up button if you did. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We've got a big giveaway going on in April where I'll be giving away an entire sealed case. Um, probably leaning towards 2022 Heritage with 12 hobby boxes in it. So uh, you got to be subscribed, though, to uh, have a chance at it. So that's coming up. Again, make sure you check us out in our auction tomorrow night. Throwback Thursday tomorrow. Inception live stream and new release preview video tomorrow. A quad upload day tomorrow. Football Friday coming up. 1984 Tops Football. BBCE Baseball Card Exchange Authenticated Sealed Box. And then Saturday Showdown also coming. So lots of good stuff. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Wednesday. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.